Hello. Welcome to EasyVB. Tutorial 1. In this tutorial we will explain how to drag an object. Dragging an object is a useful facility for many applications. The code is simple. So, let's go ahead. Open a new Windows Forms application. Call it what you want. We will call it Easy VB Tutorial 1. Click OK and our Windows Form 1 opens in the Designer tab. Drag the window out to the size you want. Now open the Code tab to confirm the code is initiated with Public Class Form 1. Let's add an object to the form, in this case we will choose a picture box, but it could be another type such as a panel, a text box, a list box, or some other object. Ok, there we have place a picture box on the form, VB has automatically named it picture box 1, but we can change that. On the object properties window, scroll down to the object name and just change it. Let's change the name from picture box 1 to PB blue. Now change the back color of PB blue to blue, so we can see it on the form at runtime. We can select from several color palettes, in this case we will select blue from the custom tab. There. We can see now that the picture box color has changed to blue on the form. Set the size of PB blue to 50 times 50 pixels square or other size if you prefer. Click and there, the size has changed to the 50 pixels square we wanted. Go to the events handler and click on the lightning icon. Scroll down the events and find the mouse move event. Double click mouse move, and the mouse move private sub will be created. Now we are ready to write some easy VB code. Note, that when we clicked mouse move in the event handler, Visual Basic automatically wrote the mouse move event argument sub for us. We only need to write the code within the sub. First let's run the application. There, it runs. We have our Windows form with our blue picture box. But there's no code yet that will allow us to drag the picture box around. So let's close the form and go ahead now to write the dragging code. First let us add two static variables, mouse pause x, and mouse pause y, to represent the mouse pointers x and y position coordinates. Static, is a local variable type. It continues to retain the most recent value between calls. Next, we write an if, then, else, statement, for the action of the mouse move event sub. Note that e, is the variable used to define any argument for the event, e.x gives the x coordinate of the mouse for the mouse move event, that being, the event of the mouse moving over pb blue, Go ahead now to run the application to check if it works. 
Place the cursor over the blue picture box. Click and hold down either the left or right mouse button. Now drag the picture box and release the mouse button to drop it. Note that clicking the mouse button when the cursor is not over the picture box object results in no action. OK, it works. Now let's close the application and look again at the code. What is it doing? If E button equals 0 means, if no mouse buttons, left or right, are currently clicked and held, then, for that condition the code before the else statement is executed, else, if E button is not equal to 0, that is, a mouse button is clicked and held, then for that condition the code after the else statement is executed. Because this code is written within the mouse move sub for the object PB blue, the code is only executed when the mouse cursor is moving over PB blue. For the X coordinate change, PB blue left is the X coordinate of PB blue on the form. EX is the X coordinate of the mouse cursor on PB blue itself. And mouse pause X was the most recent X coordinate of the mouse cursor on PB blue itself. So PB blue left, its X coordinate on the form, equals itself plus the change in the mouse cursor position. And similarly for the Y coordinate, then this calculation determines the change position for the picture box object, PB blue, on the form. Okay, we hope that was clear. Finally, one more activity. Save the project by going to the file menu, click save all. Then click Close Solution. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe. In the next tutorial we will look at dragging multiple objects.